hello everyone welcome to my channel my name is evidence and in today's video i'm going to show you how to how to unzip dot star dot gz files inside vs code and jupyter notebook so that is the objective for today's video and let me go ahead and do import pandas as pd by the way, clicking shift enter on your keyboard executes the code cell and goes and creates a new code cell below it. Just clicking control or command enter executes the code cell but doesn't create a new code cell below it. So that's a little trick for you. Now, so for us to unzip .gz files, we first we have to use something called wget. That's if you're on Windows. So this is the URL we are going to be unzipping today. And for you to get wget, I'm going to put the link to this in the description below. So if you're using Anaconda, you have to download wget using this line of code. And if you are um, not using Anaconda or if you just want to install it university on, on your computer, um, you use pip install wget. So that is how you install wget. You have to install wget before you can proceed with this tutorial so after installing wget you do import wget and shift enter execute so wget basically downloads the data stored in this url so to do that you do wget dot download and the url of the data set to download so in this case, it's the Instacart data right here. And you, of course you could put the URL directly, but this is a bit more cleaner. Let's go ahead and execute this and kind of see. As you can see, once this started downloading, like the Instacart online grocery shopping shows up on the folder that I'm currently working on. So this is my current working directory. The folder I'm currently working on um, is going to store in this data. And once this is done, we'll proceed to unzip it. So this process right here is just getting the data inside the wget, I mean inside the URL, and then we still have to um, unzip it. So I'll go ahead and continue the import process. As you can see, this is done right here. So this is the file that wget got from this url and it's right here you can see it yourself and now let's go ahead and import tar file as you can see this is dot tar dot gz so we have to use tar file to unzip it and now let's do tf tar file equal to tar file dot open okay and we want it to open this dot hard dot gz file so you put this here in quotation this is what we want it to open all right let's go ahead and extract this let's go ahead and run this cell name error oh <laughs> equal to okay now let's do tf dot extract all and in this situation you could put the directly directory you want this to be extracted to so um if you just leave this empty it's going to extract all the files in here into the current working directory into this folder we are working with right now which is what i want but I'm just going to show you as an example. So if I wanted to extract the file into this folder, for example, I'll click on that folder. This is in Windows. I'm sure you can do something similar in Mac. And you do copy path. And once the path is copied, you can come back here and put in and do and paste the path. And you have to put R before it so basically this r right here turns this into a string literal 
to avoid any Unicode problem. So if you don't put this R here, you get an error that says um, there's Unicode in front of this. You can't read it, blah, blah, blah. So this R turns this into a string literal and it allows it to be read. So if I wanted to extract this Instacart data, CSV files into this folder, this is how into this folder location, this is how I'll do it. But I do not want the CSV files to be stored in, in this folder location. I want the extracted CSV files to be stored in the folder I'm currently working with. So I'll leave this empty. And let's go ahead and execute this. As you can see, as this starts executing, it creates a folder here called Instacart data. And inside this folder is all the CSV files that was originally in this .tar.gz files, okay? Now, for us to actually use these CSV files, we have to change into this directory. And to do that, you do magic command cd. Yep, and this is how you change into this direct into this folder right here. And actually, here's something. If you do capture. So if you do capture, it will capture this output and it will not print any output. So let's execute this. As you can see, capture text that output out. So that's a little trick right there. So now that we are in this folder, we can read the CSV files inside it. So we can simply say, um, let's call it, I don't know, product is equal to pd.read CSV and in parentheses we just put product dot CSV. And let's go ahead and execute this. And then now let's do product dot head. As you can see, um, the product CSV has been loaded correctly. So just to recap real quick, this is um the Instacart data, which is like it has it is a dot star dot gz file. You use wget to get the information stored in the tar.gz file. And then once you've gotten the information, you need to open it. And once you open the tar.gz file, then you have to extract everything inside it. And after you've extracted everything, then you change into the folder that has your CSV file. And now you can read the CSV the CSV files inside that folder. And if you want to learn more about how to load data sets in Jupyter Notebook and Visual Studio Code, I suggest you check out this blog that I wrote that shows you how to load different types of data files in Jupyter Notebook and Visual Studio Code. And of course, I'm going to put this link in the description below so you can easily go and check out this blog right here and if you want to get access to this tutorial notebook so this tutorial notebook that i use in today's lesson if you want to get access to it um you have to go to machinelearningeducation.com and once you are here machinelearningeducation.com you go to free data science resources view bundle and from here, you get access to my free data science resources. So you, have, you get access to my data science cheat sheet and um, job and career resources, data science tutorials, you know, and under data science tutorials is where you find my tutorial Python notebooks. So every tutorial, every tutorial Python notebook that I use in my YouTube videos or in my blog posts can be found here in tutorial Python notebooks. 
So this is where to go to get all my tutorial Python notebooks. Just go to machinelearnereducation.com or just go to machinelearnereducation.com slash free resources. And of course, I'm going to put all this link in the description below. Anyway, that is it for today's video. I hope you like it. Please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. And if you made it this far in the video but you didn't like the video, just give it a double thumbs down. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you again in the future. Bye.